rows 1, 3 and 5. Wrong side of the work. Knit 1, pull 1, knit 1, slip stitch purl wise, knit 1, bring yarn forward, slip the stitch along with yarn over, knit 1, slip a stitch purl wise, knit 1, purl 1, knit 1. Rows 2, 4 and 6. Cable 2 to the right. Purl 1. Knit 1. Purl 1. Knit 1. Purl 1. Knit these two together. This was the stitch which we slipped in the previous row along with the yarn over. We are going to knit these two together. Purl 1, cable 2 to the left. Knit 1, purl 1, knit 1. Purl 1. This has created a cable to the right over here and cable to the left over here and we have created a broyoke stitch in the middle. We are going to repeat this three times. From rows 1 to 6 this is what we are going to do. We have completed all the three cables. This I uh, was made using 6 rows. For the coming 12 rows, we need to repeat a single pattern in the wrong side and the right side. I'm going to show you the wrong side pattern right now. Knit 1, bring yarn forward, slip the purl stitch along with the yarn over. Knit 1, bring yarn forward slip a stitch, hold the yarn over the needle, knit one, slip with yarn over, knit one, slip with yarn over, knit one, slip with yarn over, knit one. For the coming 12 rows, all the right side rows will have this pattern which is purl 1, knit the yarn over and the slip stitch from the previous row together, purl 1, knit the yarn over and slip stitch together, purl 1, knit the two together, purl 1, knit two together, pull one, knit two together, pull one. We have created five Bryox stitches now. One, two, three, four and five. We can repeat this 12 times to get six Bryox stitches.